All right, Shalom. All praise the glory and honor goes to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. There's another edition of uh, The Mark of the Beast. And I have an article here from uh, neonnetto.com, and his headline Bill Gates invents human microchip with wireless on off birth control switch. All right, now we know that Bill Gates is uh, famous for uh, Microsoft and the uh, Windows technology um, that's, uh, you know, basically known throughout the world, you know, you know, different PCs and computers that people have. But he's also less known for uh, a satanic agenda pushed by the elites of Esau and the Illuminati. All right, that, um, that, um. To where he's basically for uh, uh, depopulation, all right, and disease warfare. It was only a couple, a couple months ago, earlier this uh, this spring, he um, he had he had predicted that there was a uh, a disease to outbreak sometime this year, or this summer, that there was going to be uh, millions of people killed, which coincides with the Georgia Guidestones, okay, because he's a part of that agenda. All right. Um, and now he's pushing for this human microchip technology for birth control, which coincides with the mark of the beast and this technology. OK. So I'm going to go into it. It says Bill Gates, new microchips are due to launch this year. Uh, billionaire globalist Bill G Gates. Right. And a globalist is just another t term for uh, um, new world order shield. OK. Or someone that's juiced into the new world order or this new war satanic order uh, by Esau. OK, it says billionaire globalist Bill Gates and his team have invented a disturbing new human microchip that is due to launch uh, for uh, that is due for launch this year. OK, and why do they say that is disturbing? Because it goes against it. It goes against uh, life itself. It goes against uh, ultimately. The scriptures and what the heavenly Father Yahweh and the Son Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, have set up uh, as order in the earth, because when you go into the book of Genesis, it, it says uh, to be fruitful and multiply, and that's what the Lord told told um, uh, Noah after the great flood. So the fact that he, that uh, these different elite Edomites and this uh, face for them, Bill Gates wants to push. Um, more um, birth control technology that proves it that they're against the Bible and they're against the word of the Lord. Okay, which which would make him satanic and a devil, a deceiver. Okay, so it says the new device will be surgically embedded under a person's skin and will act as birth control that can be tr that can be controlled remotely with an on-off switch, marketed as a better condom. The microchips will act as contraception, allowing the chip individual or a third party to wirelessly prevent the possibility of pregnancy with the flick of a switch. And then it says prevent the possibility. So it's not like it's 100 percent, you know, dead on with the technology. It's just another it's just another way to keep the population down. And that's why, like I said, that's why he's a part of that agenda. OK. Whether it's through disease warfare, okay, because he advocated for this. Um, I'm not sure if he, if the speech and, and the video is on YouTube, okay. All you got to do is just look up uh, Bill Gates' depopulation on YouTube. And there's a speech, I'm not sure if it, was a, if it was at MIT or some other college, but he was speaking about the world is being overpopulated. So here you have him years later, okay, and he's pushing for... Actual microchip technology to keep people from getting to keep women from getting pregnant. OK. So it says the billionaire Microsoft founder says the tiny device normally embedded in the fleshy part of a person's hand. OK. Now this goes hand in hand. <laughs> OK. No pun intended. But this this coincides with the prophecy in Revelation, the 13th chapter. OK. It says the billionaire Microsoft founder says the tiny device normally embedded in the fleshy part of a person's hand 
should be available later this year after testing in Africa is complete. All right. Now, why are they always pushing for these, these the dark skinned people of the world? OK, because you have Israelites in, in uh, Africa as well as actual uh, Africans, you know, which are the Hamites, according to the Bible. All right. Why are they? Why is Esau always testing things in Africa or Asia? Because they are a stronger people than these less melanated people, which are these Edomites, man. So if they can, if it's a success, all right, especially in uh, West Africa where the, where the Israelites are located, then they can pretty much control anybody else on the planet, any other race or ethnicity, okay? And that's what it's about, a, a new world order with less people on the planet, Okay? It says the permanently implantable birth control device, right? And know that it says permanently, okay? Because once you take this chip, you're not supposed to, you're not going to be able to take it out, all right? And that's in total violation of the uh, scriptures, okay? It says the permanently implantable birth control device that can be turned on and off with a remote control. Um, the tiny hormone emitting microchip would allow women who decide they are ready to conceive to essentially flip a switch and start trying according to the MIT technology review. And all that's going to do, all that's going to do is really just mess up the hormone balance of, the, of a, a person's body and, and possibly kill them. Okay. So I'm going to read this scripture. All right. In Daniel, the 12th chapter, this is Daniel 12. And four, it says, but thou, O Daniel, which Daniel was a prophet, it says, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. All right. And we are in the time of the end now. It says, many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased, which and with knowledge and information increasing, that, in, that also uh, includes technology being increased. Okay. So the so the different technologies are being incre in, increased in these last days. That's why you can have a new innovative smartphone every year, or new laptop, or new car, or whatever every year, because knowledge is being increased. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep reading the article. It says Mr. Gates says the devices are not just limited to women to women though, and certain. Right, and it says, and, and it contains uh, RFID chips similar to those in credit cards and smartphones that can be programmed to wireless pay to wirelessly pay for items. Right now, it mentioned about the microchip can go into your hand. Now, the pro the prophecy in the scripture states, all right, in Revelation 13 chapter says that the government will will mandate a microchip. Or an implantable device to go into your hand to buy and sell. Well, that's exactly what I'm I'm reading about here. It says they can wirelessly pay for item, wirelessly pay for items, unlock doors, or even start a car. So I'm gonna read the prophecy on that. Let's go to Revelation, the 13th chapter, and let's read it. Okay, Revelation 13 and 16. It says, "And he, which is the." Uh, the so-called white man or Esau, Edom, causes all, everybody is going to be mandated, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. Now, that mark in the Greek, when you look into the root of the word in the translation, it means something to be engraved or, or cut into your skin. Okay? So, it says, it says, uh, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell. Now, we just read the article. It talked about an implant or a microchip inside the fleshy part of your hand. And you can also use this microchip to pay for items and purchase things. So that's what we're reading about in the prophecy of the scriptures. Everything is becoming plain now. Okay? That's why he says you seal the book until the time of the end. Because at the end, that's when all these prophecies are going to be open. Okay? Unto the elect, to those that understand. Okay? All right, it says, um, and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, which will also in, in, uh, in, in, include a uh, brain microchip, 
because the, the, there's something that the um, military of the U.S. has. It's, it's called the Brain Initiative Program, which was started by the uh, Obama administration. They have microchips to go into your head. So it says in that no man might buy or sell, save he either had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Okay? So uh let's see if I can get this back online. <clears throat> okay, and that's the um that's the uh proof in the pudding right there. Proving that the scriptures is true. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go back in the article. It says, uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has invested $4.6 million in the Massachusetts-based startup behind the device, Microchips. Okay. And, you know, hey, you know, when you go to these stores, you know, what does it tell you when you have your debit card or your credit card? It says, insert uh, um, your uh, chip. Okay, your your EMV chip. So they're already making it convenient. So what more to have a chip that does everything, whether it be birth control, purchasing items, opening a car, unlocking doors. All right. It says the ability to turn the device on and off provides a certain convenience factor for those who are planning their their family, and that's how they want to push this this uh, microchip technology out. Convenience. Uh, Dr. Robert Farrar, president and chief operating uh, officer of Microchips, told the BBC this week. So here you have another devil, Bill Gates, pushing for depopulation through this birth control microchip, among other types of microchips. Okay, another means, all right, was just proves that um we are at the time of the end and the prophecies are speaking. All right, now there's a it's another scripture because uh, the Israelites, you so-called blasphemers and Native Americans, you're not supposed to be taking this microchip at all. Okay? And you're not supposed to be trusting in the so-called white man for any type of uh, um, substance. Okay? So this is Isaiah 36 and 6. It says, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt. And America is uh, spiritually Egypt, as, as the scripture says. It says, we're on it for man lean. It will go into his hand and pierce it. Because the ultimate end game to, to be um, uh, to be a part of this uh, coming New World Order system is, and trusting in America is to have that microchip. Okay. It says, so was Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to all that trust in him. Meaning that it's going to pierce your hand, you know, meaning destroy your power because your hand represents your power. OK, so if your power is, is, is pierced through or destroyed or cut off, you have no power and that makes you a slave. And that's ultimately what the elites want, uh, want to happen. They want to make the Israelites slaves again and then systematically destroy us from the races off the planet. OK, and that's why it's important not to take that microchip. So I'm going to read one last scripture, and this is Revelation 14, all right, in verse 9. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, which is a microchip, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone. I mean, he's going to be destroyed in in the lake of fire, which America is going to be turned into by uh, ICBM nuclear missiles. Okay. It says in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. All right. So if you take that microchip, that's going to be your um, your, your uh, destruction. All right. But with that, I'm going to end it there. I'm going to give our praise and glory and honor to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.